Good morning, YouTube. It is Thursday morning. It is 7.30. I am already at a garage sale. This one is at an old farmstead. There were some really good treasures in the pictures online, so I'm very excited. I got here early and I got a number. I'm just waiting for them to open the doors in about a half hour. Um, and I'm number 23, so let's hope I get in there and find some good stuff. Let's go. Okay, so right inside the door was this Le Creuset set. They wanted 125 for the large and 95 for the small Dutch oven. And that kind of set the tone. This was a nice uh, hand-painted bowl, 45 for the Pyrex, 35 for that yellowware. Um, this is the Silhouette Pattern by Hall. And this was all uh, pretty much right around retail. I mean, their prices for retail were reasonable but for a reseller um i was actually you know right off the bat kind of noticing i was having a tough time finding things i came for that vase and i had a price of 200 as is so i scurried because i was kind of discouraged on that to see what else i could find uh, before looking into that vase a little further so i did see these two paperweights right away this one was really light though it was very lightweight and of course that one's probably worth 700 bucks and i take the like 30 dollar one um, these were some copper enameled ashtrays. Um, they were very delicate and, uh, they went about $12, $15 a piece for them. This is their sewing room, which I kind of scurried through because I don't need any more sewing stuff. And I wanted to go see what other treasures I could find since I was bummed about that vase. These look cool. Uh, $10 vintage bookends, um, but they were really lightweight. That is uh, Drayton glass and a piece of Costa Boda. They were both uh, 75 and 25 respectively. So again, kind of retail on that. I don't know a ton about teacups, so I skipped over that. This is uh, King's Crown, reasonably priced retail, a little bit of uranium. They wanted like 15 for that uh, compote of King's Crown. And then here's some McKee EAPG. I'm not sure what that China pattern was, but this is the EAPG. Um, $25 reasonable, but not a lot of room there for me. And then this was going upstairs. And this house was really cool, by the way. Uh, 1850s was originally a log cabin. Um, earlier family in the area uh, predates this this house. They, there was, um, I guess, a log cabin elsewhere that moved to this spot. And they built it into the current house that it is. Um, some teddy bears. They wanted 10 and 5 and a little stuffed bunny uh, going back out into the hall. And they did actually, before they opened the doors, they gave a little history about the house. Um, and they mentioned that there was some local uh, history pieces inside, which is this display here. This globe was cool. They wanted 28, which wasn't bad. Um, it would be cute to see how outdated it is. And then the, the mirror scope, I think they had $50 on this. Um, I don't know much about them. I think that was probably a decent price. I found this uh, silver area, and there was a woman standing here. I think I spooked her a little bit the way I ran in, but they had a price of 30 I don't know if it was per or for the pair. And at this point, I, you know, I know everything is retail, but I'm going to try and look for what I refer to as the Viking mushroom. It's that one piece of something small that kind of got overlooked that, you know, is a good bang for the buck. Like in my last video, there was that piece of latticino glass that I got at the end for 50 cents, uh, a little bit of uranium. And that's the view out of their kitchen window. That is not bad. Um, and then there's a crate of little bottles and stemware, but I didn't see anything too outstanding in there. Um, and then over here, there was a piece of USA pottery, a little pedestal, uh, candy dish kind of thing. They wanted 15 for it, but it did have a crack. So I wound up leaving it. But I, for myself, like if I was shopping for myself, I definitely would have grabbed that because I, I like that. I think that was cool. Um, and there wasn't much else really in the, the kitchen area. So let's see where I go next. Oh, over to the ducks. A nice collection of wooden ducks. Again, they're all about 100 to $175, but they're the real McCoys. I had this set growing up, and my son now plays with it. It's in my living room. That's the one I wanted when I was little as well. But yeah, a little bit about me. This is a cute little tea table, $45. Um, it had kind of like a composite wood Asian motif top on it. And then this was a pin from the USS Constitution. 
uh, Fenton Sugar Shaker for 38 and that uranium was 25 I believe. It's a cheese preserver for about 35 uh, Elegant Pink Glass Pitcher 25 And then this was the vase I came for. This is Fulper Pottery and I love this. This is like 1910s, 1912. Handle is cracked, 200 bucks as is. I couldn't make the decision to take it. Um, and this was 65 this blue Bohemian Glass. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a bust. The vase that I came here for was that green vase. Um, I was hoping it was going to be around 50 bucks, but they had a price of $200 on it. And it said as is. So I was like, let me leave that behind. The sale's going on for a few days, so I might come back in a few days and see if it's still here and if I can get a better price on it. I only got three things today, so I'm going to go over them with you in the car rather than go all the way back to the barn. Um, I got this Art Glass Cat. It does say uh, made in Canada. I'll have to look it up and see a little bit more about the brand. But I paid 20 bucks for it. It's a cat. I usually can make money on cat stuff. <laughs> uh, I picked up this iridescent uh, paperweight. There was this one and the egg one. This one I thought was just prettier. So it's got a price of 28 on it. I grabbed that. And I grabbed a piece of uranium glass for seven bucks. Uranium sells through pretty easily for me. Um, and that was okay. I was good with seven bucks on that. And that was it. That's all I got. Um, I might come back in a couple days because the sale goes on for a few days and see if that vase is marked down or if I can get a better deal on it. Um, if I can get a better deal, there might be a couple bucks to be made there. But for 200 bucks, I was not going to take it as is. So we'll see. But other than that, that was it for today. It's not even 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm already done shopping. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.